You've gone and done it, haven't you? You've fallen into a black hole. I warned you. I warned you. Because once you fall into a black hole, you can't get out. So you're going to die. And you're going to die soon. But you just had to see what's on the other side of a event horizon. And guess what? You are going to be disappointed. Because the other side of event horizon looks a lot like this side of an event horizon. See, an event horizon, this, this boundary of the black hole, it's a mathematical boundary. It, it's a thing that, that guides us in our equations. It's, it's not like a line in the sand or a wall or, or like a laser defense system. It's, it's simply where, a distance from the singularity, where the inflowing flow of space that's gravity is so extreme here. It's like space itself is flowing in towards the singularity where that flow exceeds the speed of light. So that if you wanted to turn around and leave, you couldn't because you'd have to go faster than the speed of light and you can't. So you don't. Outside the event horizon, if you decide to stop and go somewhere else, you could. Inside the event horizon, you can't because gravity is too strong. Space is flowing inwards towards the singularity too quickly. But check this out. As you're falling towards the event horizon, you see the black hole itself, you know, this ball of nothing. Uh, but because of the extreme bending of space and the lensing effects, the ball actually looks bigger than it should. It looks like it's stretched and distorted. It fills up more of your field of view than it ought to, given its size. And then you fall through the event horizon and you know the mass of the black hole so you can calculate the radius of the event horizon. You know exactly when you fell through. But the event horizon, the ball of nothing that we call a black hole, still appears below you. And the reason for this is that what we see as the black hole, that ball of nothing, that's not the event horizon. The event horizon isn't a ball of nothing. The event horizon is a is a you know an equation. The ball of nothing is the shadow of the star that died to make the black hole. From our perspective, outside of a black hole, nothing ever really falls in. Why? Because light escaping from an object. Say you're falling into a black hole and you're emitting, emitting light. You're falling in. You're emitting light. Well, this light has to fight stronger and stronger gravity to get out to us. So it gets more and more red shifted and it gets more and more time dilated. So you look slower and slower and slower. And then there's a moment right when you cross the event horizon where you send out one last bit of light. The light right at that moment of crossing the event horizon. Well, that light never reaches us. Because gravity is too strong. Space is flowing inwards too quickly. Space is flowing in at the speed of light. Light is going at the speed of light. They cancel each other out. It never escapes. So we never see that snapshot of you actually falling into the black hole. Instead, we just see you getting more and more red and more and more slow. You get infinitely redshift and infinitely slowed down. We never actually see the moment of crossing. And this is what happens to the star that forms the black hole itself. As it collapses, eventually all that material reaches a point, crosses through the event horizon of the newly formed black hole, goes on to collapse into a singularity, but we on the outside universe never get to see it. We never see it. We see just the infinitely red-shifted surface of the star stuck on the event horizon. That's what we see. So that when you pass through that boundary, you haven't passed through the ball of nothing. You just pass through that mathematical line. And after you pass through the event horizon, the ball of nothing still appears below you. It still appears below you because that is still the shadow of the star that collapsed eons ago in front of you. Because here's something else strange about the inside of a black hole. Outside of a black hole, you can go anywhere you want in space. I want to go over there, I'll go over there. I want to go over here, I'll go over here. Oh, up there? Okay, I'll go up there. I can go anywhere I want. 
but I must travel into my future. I can be as perfectly still as I want in space, but I can only travel into my future and I don't get a choice about it. Inside of a black hole, inside the event horizon, I can only travel towards the singularity. Everywhere I turn there is singularity. Like, I'll go over here. Oh, singularity. I'll go over here. Oh, singularity. I'll go, oh, singularity. I'll turn around back. Nope, nope, singularity is back there too. Everywhere I try to go, the singularity is in front of me. And inside of a black hole, you can't stay still. You can't be motionless. You must move inside of a black hole. And so you must move, and the singularity is in all directions, everywhere you look. The singularity is your future. The singularity is where you will end up. All paths inside of a black hole end up at the singularity, and you must stay moving. So you will reach the singularity in a finite amount of time. For a giant black hole like the ones at the centers of galaxies, it's a few seconds. A few seconds. The event horizon, the boundary you crossed, is in your past. The singularity is in your future, and you will hit it. All that material from the dead star, that shadow, that infinitely redshifted ball of nothing, whew, it collapsed to the singularity a long time ago. The singularity is in your future. You won't know what it looks like until you get there. Just like you don't know what the future looks like until you actually get to your future, you don't know what the singularity looks like until you reach it. So the big ball of nothing is always in front of you. And because of the extreme tidal forces, the extreme gravitational distorted, it gets stretched out. Instead of just being a tiny little ball, it's enlarged and flattened. And it, instead of approaching like a little point, it actually makes you feel like you're landing on a giant surf featureless black void of a planet. It just stretches and stretches. And once it stretches to be flat, to match horizon to horizon, that's when you've reached the singularity. That's when you've reached total oblivion. That's when you've reached that point. Now that's when you get to find out what it looks like. When you finally met the shadow of the dead star that collapsed millions or billions of years ago, that's when you get to see what it all turned into. But you can't know it until you really get there. So once you find out, let us know, except you can't because no signals can escape a black hole. So you'll find out. We'll just have to guess. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. That really does help. That really does uh, help me. Just commenting, liking, sharing the video, and also going to patreon.com slash pmsutter. P is in Paul, M is in Matthew, S-U-T-T-E-R. There's a link floating around my head right now. Dollar a month. That's as little as it takes to keep these videos and all my podcasts and radio shows going. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.